For practice at self-check 5.14, logical expression 2, we are given the following declarations and we need to find the value of each of the Boolean expressions. So we're going to look at this and we need to see what this gives us. Looking here, we already have the answers, but we're going to work out how to do each of them. So we, for the first one, we have not B. So this is basically saying not false. Since B is equal to false, this is saying not B. B is equivalent to false again. So this is basically saying not false. And not false is true. If something is not false, it is true. That's how we get true here. Next, we have B or true. Whenever we have an or, true is always going to take over false. If, if we have a true, it's going to default to true no matter if we have one false or if we have multiple um, false expressions. It's always going to have this true if there's at least one true. Next, we have x has to be greater than y and y is greater than z. So x being greater than y, we can look here, we see that our x is 27 and our y is negative 1. So this is true and we have to have y is greater than z. y is negative 1, z is 32, so this is false. Since there's an and here, that means these both have to be true. Since they're both not true, it's going to give us false. Next, we have this x is equal to y or is x less than or equal to z. So we have x is equal to y, which we know is not true, so this is false. Or x has to be less than or equal to z. Well, x is 27, z is 32, so this is true. And since we have an or and we have a true, this is going to give us a true. Next, we have a not operator outside of parentheses. So we're going to look at inside the parentheses first. We have 27 modulus 2 is equal to 0. This is false because the modulus of 27 using 2 will give us 1 since we have a remainder of 1. This does not equal 0, therefore this is false. This whole statement right here is false. However, we have a not operator outside, so this is basically saying not false, which would be true. For the next one, we have x modulus 2 is um, not equal to 0. So we take 27 modulus by 2, that does not equal 0. This is true because it would equal a 1. And we have b, which is false. Since we have an and, and we have our b being false, both of these have to be true. This is basically saying this and this must exist. Since one is false, that means we are going to have a false as our answer. Next, we have b and not b. So we have false and not false. Well since we have an and, these both have to be the same otherwise it will default to false which is why we have a false right here. For this one we have a b and not b so we have false and not false or false or true. Since we have an or here that means this or so this or this has to be true. Since one of them is true, it will give us a true. Now we have x has to be less than y. This is false because x is 27 and y is negative 1. And that has to be equal to b. And b is false. So we know this is false. And we know this is false also. Since these are both equal to each other, this means this is true. It's asking if these two are equivalent and false is equivalent to another false, which is why it is true. Next, we have a not operator outside x divided by 2 is equal to 13. Well, x divided by 2 is not equal to 13, or actually it is, since it's an integer. If it was a double, this would not be true. But since this is an integer, we have 27, we have to round down to 26. Dividing this by 2 will give us 13. So this is equivalent, this is true, but since it has a not operate outside, this is going to change it to be false. Now we have an or b, b is also false, and then we have an or z times 3 is equal to 96. z is 32, multiplying it by 3 gives us 96, so this is true, 
since we have or operators, we're basically saying this or this or this must be true. Since we have at least one true, that means we're going to have a true right here as our answer. Next, we have um, this line right here, where we are having z being less than x. z is not less than x, so this is going to give us a false. However, this is saying, is this equal to false? Since false is equal to false, this is true. They are equal to each other. That's going to give us a true. Lastly, we have um, the not operator outside of x is greater than 0. Well, is x greater than 0? This is true because x is 27. And we have to have an and here. And y has to be less than 0. y is less than 0 because y is 1. So we'll have a t right here. And then we will have these in parentheses and a not operator outside. Basically, what this is saying is we have a truth inside of here, but we have a not operator out here. So what we're basically saying is this is not true. So we have false. And that is the all of the answers to this self-check problem.